much. Hey. Hi guys, we've just arrived at Narita Airport in um, Tokyo and um, we got through custom really quickly in half an hour so that's through quarantine and you know custom, customs and everything so we got through in half an hour and now we have 40 minutes to kill before our bus so that was really good now what do we do for 40 minutes also I'm trying to find a foreign exchange place to exchange my money and see and hopefully um, the exchange rate is better than ours because ours was I got my exchange for um, 80 a dollar Australian for 87 yen and actually got exchange for a dollar Australian for 88 yen so hopefully the exchange rate here is better because I need to exchange some money because I have some money but it just won't be enough especially with all the stuff I want to get Rina you have a lot of stuff you want and I will try my best to get it for you and I'll let you know I'll do a haul for you Rina just for you yeah I uh, was just sitting in like in a corner near the exit because we just walked past the exit and oh my god it was actually cold it's freezing out yeah. there we stuffed up the got my thick jacket on as you can see love my jacket yeah got this one on and um i also if need be i have other jackets but i don't know it's like it's gonna be enough with just this one alone um, we'll see how it goes we haven't actually stepped outside in the yeah we haven't, haven't stepped outside yet which is just basically walking past the entrance as the door opened and it was freezing um well, it's supposed to be 4 degrees, which Melbourne hardly ever dropped down to 4 degrees during the day. It doesn't drop down to 10. Yeah, true. Usually 10 is probably the lowest it'll, uh, it'll go during the day. Like overnight, that's a different story because you're inside, you're not outside, so you don't really know. But yeah, this is, this is going to be cold. Um, I'm still trying to find foreign exchange. It gets on the outside. Yeah. Ashley, you're going to sit here? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, Ashley's going to sit here looking after all the baggage while I go and see if I can find a foreign exchange. And if the exchange rate is better, I'm going to exchange some money and um, we'll take it from there. So let's take a walk around and hopefully I find a PowerPoint because almost two of my batteries are gone and I, I mean I only have one left for the rest of the day. No good. Anyway, let's get going. Welcome to Narita Airport. We are at entrance A. We've already um, went and exchanged our ticket, our limousine um, docket for our ticket. So. It's over there, Airbus limousine. Um, Helen pre-booked everything for us. So all we have to do is come in, give them the voucher, and they give us our ticket. But we still have 40 minutes before the bus leaves. And it doesn't take us to our um, hotel, like I said before. Ah, there you go, current exchange. It will only take us to, um, what do you call the place? Ginza Station, which is about half a kilometer walk from where we're staying. Not too bad, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm just gonna go and ask about the exchange rate and yeah. Okay, AUD 83. Cash 83. Hey. Yeah, I found out the exchange rate. How bad is it? 83. Damn. 83, yeah. Apparently we got a better deal at home than we did here. Yeah, I thought we were going to get it better here. Oh man, it sucks. 30,000 30, yen will get me past at least through the first two days, at least. But with the stuff you know, i got to get, it won't get me through the whole entire four days here. If I just only, you know, eating, then that will be fine, but you know. Um, Hotel would be as bad, huh? Yeah. You gotta make money out of it. You gotta get some Hi guys, I'm back with Ashley. She's talking to Tina right now. Hi Tina. I'm a bit dead. The best exchange rate I found was 87, no, 83.75. So if I get, you know, 20,000 yen, it's probably, it was what, 240? Just under 240. Yeah, just under 240. So, I'm not quite sure how good we're gonna get elsewhere. Or if they speak English. Yeah, the problem is language. Language is always the biggest problem. You get, you're more likely to get cheaper. I agree. Um, Take advantage of it. I'm, I have 30,000 yen, which will probably last for two, maybe three days. But I know that I'm going to need at least 50,000 yen at the very least. So I've been considering to get another 20,000 yen exchanged. So, so um, I don't have to worry so much about money. 
when I leave here. It's all because of you, Rita. I know, you're gonna have to buy for other people. It's gonna be a problem. Yeah, it was just food then. 30,000 yen is way more than enough for four days. I didn't tell me about it. But, um, I'm gonna eat tapanyaki. This is not just food. Yeah, tapanyaki is $80 per person. I'm like, no way. $80 plus. Yeah. It starts at $80 mm -hmm. per person. I'm like, tapanyaki, maybe next time when I'm rich. Mm -hmm. Or when someone is shouty. <laughs> <laughs> but currently we're students, so we can't afford that. We're kind too of poor stuff. for that. Yeah, so, um, well, what, how much time do we have? Now I think 20 minutes. Yeah. So we have 20 minutes. So I think I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna go wash my face because my face just feels like yeah. oily hell and it's just dry in some areas and breaking out in some areas. I just, uh... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go quickly run to the thing and just get a couple more money, a little bit more money exchanged, and we'll just take it from there. I think mm -hmm. because I'd rather be safe than sorry. Because yeah. there's so much stuff I want to get. And I don't know where to exchange the money from. And well, we're here now. Can't regret it now, can we? I'm not gonna fly back home to exchange for a better rate. <laughs> Can't do that. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I've just exchanged some money. I've exchanged another two hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred and fifty Australian dollars, which makes it uh, twenty thousand nine hundred and thirty yen. The nine hundred and thirty are all in coins. First time holding Japanese coins, excited. Yeah, which means I can now actually go to one of the vending machines, pop in some coins, and grab some stuff out. But yeah, exciting, isn't it? Oh, you guys over the other side probably won't feel the same excitement as I am on this side. But yeah, now I have um, 50,000 yen, so which hopefully is enough. If not, then I'll just have to exchange some more elsewhere. Anyway, I better go back and find Ashley so she can quickly run to the bathroom. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Okay, so I took too long. Ashley didn't end up getting to go to the bathroom, but um, it was easy. We walked out of that entrance over there and we just walked straight up about, I don't know, 80 meters. And here we are at stop 17. And we're going to Ginza area, which departs at 7.45. And for those who don't know, Ginza is like in the middle of the city. And it's like the most rich area. So it's yep. like surrounded by like the most high-end fashion yep. brands. Yep. Um, it's near the water as well. And currently it's actually not too bad outside at the moment. I could go for thicker pants of course, but um, with this jacket on, I'm stable. But yeah, I'm fine with this hoodie. Yeah, like, like smoke. You only get that in Melbourne in the winter time. Back so. to winter weather. We were at what, 30 degrees? Yeah, a couple oh, days ago. On the day we leave, it wasn't too bad, but a couple of days ago it was like 30 degrees. Oh. Yeah, but now we're back into winter weather. Finally gonna wear my coat again. And then, believe it or not, I hardly wear any of my coats when I'm in Melbourne, but I'm so excited to wear them now that I'm here. <laughs> uh, still, well, yeah, I'm going to be here soon. And we're just gonna wait for it for a little while and we'll let you guys know what, what will happen. Hopefully we don't get off at the wrong stop. If not, we're just gonna have to take a taxi or try to figure out our way around. Yeah, so we'll let you guys know. Okay, so Ashley just checked the weather. Guys, it's two degrees out here. It's two degrees. It's not bad, but in saying that, it's pretty cold. Yeah, it's probably warm where we get into the sun, yeah. under sunlight. I'm but good for the hourly. Yeah, it's, it's, about, it's about four degrees right now. Yeah, yeah, but it's not too bad. I mean, we'll last. We'll last, we'll survive. It's not too bad at all. I thought it's gonna be cooler than this. If it was any cooler, this would be snowing. Yeah, I know, I know. It was raining last night, so that's why that's why it's prob that's why it's probably so cold right now. Yeah. yeah. So my two luggage, Ashley's two luggage, and we're just gonna get going. Two hour drive. Two hour drive to Gi to Ginza. So we'll probably be only about like an hour, but because house makes stops everywhere. It's two hours. Yeah, but it's the best one that we can find, huh? And for the cheapest. Yeah. And that uh, we're not gonna get gypped for. Yeah. Okay, so the lady gave me this. I'm assuming that's my suitcase number. And she's sticking on my suitcase. Where is one more person? Huh? Where is one more person? Here. I'm here. Uh, Alright, please see her too. Yeah. And I'm assuming that that bus arriving is ours. 
Yep. Tokyo Street and Ginza. That is our bus. Your bag's been marked? It's game on now. Get on. There you go. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. That's all I know how to say, people. That's good enough. Should we sit? Where should we sit? Yeah. Right about, yeah, middle would do. Oh my god, look at that. Plenty of leg room. I can oh almost spread out my leg. This is what economy should be like. Yeah. We just double check the map. Um, it'll probably take about seven minutes to walk from Ginza Station because that's where we, we are being dropped off to get to our hotel. Print screen some shots on the phone and, and we'll we just know, take it from there. We know what to look out for. Yeah, Chanel. We, we need to look out for Chanel. If we don't see Chanel, we're in the wrong location. <laughs> so, well, wish us luck. Hopefully we don't get lost because it's too early to get lost and we're tired. Well, let's get going. The bus is about to start. If you guys can see, it's like this is close to the airport, and we have like a forest here. You'll never see that in Melbourne. Same goes for this side. You'll never see that in Melbourne. That is Disneyland. Disneyland Castle. Right there. The Disney Hotel probably. But that is part of Disneyland. Now unfortunately we won't be able to go there. Because we don't have enough time. Isn't that right Ashley? If we could. We, just we could to... but that means we have to eliminate like a list of places that we want to go. And Tina won't be happy. And then no one, no one, no one's going to be unhappy anyway. Crossing the bridge, guys. The well, diver is around here somewhere. I just need to find out where. All the other buildings are also just as tall. Mm -hmm. So you pretty much go go view of your window and someone else's view. Mm -hmm. So you start staring at your neighbor a little Yeah, but look at that. It's like... No wonder they can squish them in. Yeah. It's just compact space. But look at that. Oh my god. I can never look at that. Now this is just completely different from what we're used to. So much space and buildings are so far from each other. This is completely different. Completely different from home. Buildings here are all stacked and are very close to each other and they're just very, very tall. It's like living to shoulder to shoulder with your neighbor. Yeah, exactly. Hey guys, it's what nine o'clock now and arrived at the first stop and I was there was the third stop from the, from the airport so two more stops to go technically we're supposed to arrive at 9.40 I don't know how much longer though yeah I don't know how far away Tokyo City is from Ginza but hopefully not too far because we're tired need a bed yeah need a bed and a cup of coffee and a shower We're getting going now, so we'll see you soon. We're finally in the city, and I saw a car with Pikachu in it. A taxi. A taxi with Pikachu in it. Love to ride in that taxi. <laughs> is that really, really fancy taxi? Yeah. And it seems like all the stations are basically underground because we can see the metro sign. And an entrance, so yeah. 
The old gentleman is trying to get our bag for us. Ready, Ash? Hold on. Wait, wait, we have to know which way first. Okay, what road is this? That is the question. Is... Um... Okay, guys, we're a bit stuck. We don't know what road we're on. Uh, we're opposite... I don't know. It's... Ginsan... Ginsan Nishi 3. Does that sound familiar? Look at the map that... Oh god, it is actually cold. That's the bus that we're on. Airport limousine. Cheap, get you to the station. Where are we? Yeah, so, um, so you are here, I'm assuming this is the intersection that we're looking at on the map, so we walk straight down two blocks, <laughs> yeah that's the intersection there I'm assuming, mm. and then um, if we walk down two blocks, so one, two blocks, and then up on the second road, Yeah. I'm assuming our hotel is somewhere around about here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go look for it. Okay. We finally made it to reception. <sighs> we're about to check in. Hopefully we can check in. If not, we're just gonna steal our bags here across the edge. Yeah, it looks like we can only really leave our bags here, but better than nothing. Yep. We're not going around carrying two luggage each. Because we can you know, do a bit of a we create a bit of an attention for ourselves before. I know, everyone's staring at us like, why are these two girls carrying two suitcases with of luggage around? Mm -hmm. Ashley's just filling out our form right now. And there's our luggage.